We're making a sketchbook. Here's what you need. Five to six sheets of white paper and scissors and something to draw with. You also want a cover sheet like a brown paper bag or a piece of construction paper. Be creative with your cover sheet. If you don't have any of these things, you can use a white paper but color it in. So I'm just tracing around my paper and I'm going to cut out this brown paper bag so that could serve as my cover sheet. So now that I have my cover sheet and I have my sketchbook paper, I'm going to count out about five or six pages. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to save the rest of the paper for my final drawing and in case I need to make another sketchbook. And I'm just going to fold that in half, put it on top of my cover paper, and I'm just going to fold it all in half. Easy enough. And then what I'm going to do to bind it, it's really simple binding today. I'm just going to cut small snips about one finger wide down the spine of my sketchbook. And then what I'm gonna do is to bind this, I'm going to fold one forward, the next one I'm folding back. One forward, one back. One forward, one back. One forward, one back. One forward, one back. And I'm just going to really press down on that. And then I'm going to open it up and test it. And I have a sketchbook. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw on the front cover and write Mrs. Davis's sketchbook. And then I'm going to add different types of lines on it. I want to decorate my front cover and I'm going to do like a Zentangle design. So I'm going to write Mrs. Davis's sketchbook. Maybe I'll do a bumpy line around it that turns into a cloud shape. You could do zigzag, you could do loopy. And then I'm gonna do straight lines to divide it. And then in each of these sections, I'm just gonna do a different type of line or design. And I'm gonna repeat that so I fill up the section. Now that I'm done with my fancy sketchbook, it's time to sketch. You're going to open up to the first page and your first assignment is to draw a shoe. And don't stress over this, this is your pre-assessment. This. Is now that you have your sketchbook completed, keep it in a safe space. We will be needing this every week in art class for the second quarter. You're going to be adding to it daily. Our first drawing today in our sketchbook does not need to be posted to Padlet. I would like you to just keep it in your sketchbook for future reference. There is an exit ticket on Schoology for you to submit.